Ik wil graag een update. Ja, okay. <laughs> Do you want to tell them your name? Because a lot of them will certainly know your name. Floor. <laughs> ah, Floor. Floor, you want an update of your hairstyle? Yeah. You want to have some autumn feelings, of course, in your hair. And this hairstyle is about uh, six, seven weeks old, something like that. Mm -hmm. But they can find you on YouTube so they can see <laughs> how it was. Will you turn so they can see how your hair is now? I think it's certainly seven weeks or something like that. And, and see that on the outgrowth. <laughs> yeah. Now it's on top, you can see it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hello friends on YouTube, Couldn't do Floors Hair again. Now of course I start with protection. I already knew which hairstyle she has. And it's a, a nice uh, in autumn colors pixie hairstyle. And she knows how to style hair because that you can see, of course, she always wears it well. <laughs> Even after uh, seven weeks, it's still looking well. Start by wetting the hair, take out uh, some of the styling products, don't wash it because I want to color it. So get also an update of a nice trendy color. Yeah, that's all. Using a protein spray with uh, a little bit of copper in it because I want to have some hold on the cover. So I pre covered it also. What I will do is, uh, she loves to wear the hairs to the front, so I make a nice strong frame to base lines and then uh, the upper hair will lay over it so it is a playable effect again. So I, now that is what I want to do, so open up the face lines and then create a wonderful strong hairstyle on them. So I start parting half on the fontanelle. Lay the hairs to the front, so I get a half uh, fringe line. Set the hairs aside. I myself a new scissor of Kiona. Comes in a box. Black box. <laughs> like this. Myself a new scissor of Kiona, comes in a box. Black box. <laughs> like this. Now I want to open up the frame line. Of her face. I want to leave some length at the front so the side beard will be above her ears. You're leaving some length. And then from that line I'm going to work up. And make a strong frame line. This in combination with a nice strong new color will give her a very funky look. It's always hard to talk and concentrate together. Go to the other side. And do of course the same on the left side. See how you did. Today the hair is down. Going on the ear. Leaving the leg to the front. So you get a nice flowing line. Go back in the opposite lines.
these are our first lines. Now I free the upper hair and I'm going to make a playable line on this line. So get an ultra strong frame around the head. Take the hairs up, watch at the lines of a skull. And always work on the lines of the skull. So always watch where the lines go at the lips, the nose, the eyebrow, bones. Getting all the structures into a hairstyle. Holding the length a bit longer so you get a playable effect on that. And go slice cutting it a bit in. Ja, dat is het mooi. Ja, dat is een heel, heel funny effect. Zit ze er nog in? Ja, bijna uiteindelijk een beetje. Nu zit ik op dit side. Take care of yourself. Hold my fingers in the line of first curl lines. Take also the hairs up in the same lines. Create some special effect in it, so don't take all the lines in the same line because I love diversity in lines. And there may be some parts that are more playable. Take the ear down. Always watch at the model or the, the person who is in your chair that's not smiling or laughing because once you would laugh, <laughs> then the ears goes up about half centimeter. So when you, she would laugh and I'd set the line out, you get a terrible mistake because then you have a, a, a skin above the ears. So I don't want that. That's a failure you only make once, but. <laughs> You don't want to make it. We had a customer uh, and it was cut by a, a staff member of mine and he was laughing and then she set out the contour line above her ears and when he stopped uh, smiling it was about one and a half centimeter <laughs> the, from uh, the ears away so it looks a bit uh, scary and naked. So now this frame of her hair is ready at the front. Adjust the line ahead a little bit. So I can also the dry end of that up. So now I can go to the upper hair. Take the hairs up on the line where I started with the front. Go in with the point cut technique.
Het is lekker scherp, dit schaatje. Hm? Ik wil het horen. Een fijn geluidje. Ja. ja. Ik zou het best de hele dag volhouden, denk ik zo. <laughs> nou, luister. Dat is een schaatje. Ja. ja, misschien. Ik blijf wel zitten zo. Ja. En ik maar knippen. Ja. En uiteindelijk staat er niks meer op. En ik waarom stopt het geluid toch? Ja, dat is het. Zoveel haar is nodig, weet ik niet. Nee. Nou, kun je het een keer een pruik opzetten, dan hou je het vet. Ja. Ik ben wel een keer naar. Een pruik opzetten? Nou, een haar. Oké. Okay. Dat is echt... Uh... Ik heb nooit eens echt lang haar gehad. Ik zal het straks wel laten zien. Dat is wel grappig hoor. Ze ziet hoe je de lange haar staat. Dat was denk ik toch mega of zo. Ik ben even wat terug. Nee, een ander ding. Ja, zo lang Acht, deed. Hè? Ja, en ik heb dan nog vlechten gehad. Een neppe haar. Oh, gewoon, gewoon een nepsvlecht ook. Ja. Aha. Ja, ik heb, uh, toen was mijn haar zo, denk ik. Mm -hmm. Dat vond ik gewoon als zo raar om dat op je rug te voelen. En dan zijn vlechten natuurlijk ook uh, zwaar, zeg maar. Ja. En ik weet niet of ik ze uithaalde, dat ik me echt helemaal kapot schrok. Dat ik zo'n ballen haar. <laughs> ja, dat is echt, maar dat is een gewicht ook, haar hoor. Zo. Ja, er is niks uitgevallen natuurlijk in die tijd. Nee. Stay working the roundings of a skull. And stay of course working in the point cut technique. Watch how lovely jumpy this is. Go to the sides. Take the hairs up. Pull them up. Now I'm working on the shape of the hairstyle. Take it up. Lay it in the lines. Stay working in the, in the face lines. Always do. They're the most wonderful lines a person has because you can trust that the lines of that, of the skull and the shape of her face never change. Or she will have an accident, but uh, yeah. I do, don't hope that for her. <laughs> But I love to work in these lines. You create so much more softness into a hairstyle. And connect them to the lines of cutting. Because here's the line of cutting. Connect it to that. Back over the same line, adjust the roundings. Then pull the ear to the front a bit, go in from the top and create a nice soft contour line. Go back over the same line. See how wonderful this shape is. Also, when you watch from the, from the front, how nice the natural roundings are when you use the skull as a guide. It's wonderful to work like this. Sta je me nooit bestellen als je dat niet Leer je dat in je opleiding? Nee. Kijk daar altijd naar. Ja, altijd. Dat is waarom dat ik ook les geef. 
go to the other side, of course do the same. Connect them to the upper hairs. Het leuke van jou als model is dat jij zo lekker rustig bent. Ik heb ook een model die heel veel onrust uh, met zich heeft brengen. Onzeker zijn. Wat is hier ook gewoon rustig van. Ja. <laughs> en wat is hier ook in dit gebouw ja. ook heel rustig. Hè? Iedere keer denk ik, oh dit is ook wel lekker. Het is vaak even haast om hier naartoe te komen. Maar, uh, ja, als je dan eenmaal zit, dan is het goed. Oh ja, het is gewoon een lekker rustmomentje. <laughs> ja, moment voor jezelf. Nou. Boven doen, ja, maar. Maar flink ritme. Ik zie wel mooi dat er lampjes op de achtergrond. Ja, leuk is dat, hè? Het leuke is dat je ze echt, een, uh, omdat het digitaal is, kun je ze heel mooi zien. Dat die camera die pakt ze heel mooi op. Die heeft een heel leuk effect. to the front, go in and create a nice soft contour line. Heel, the copy, yeah? Yeah. I think it's just fine. Yeah, that's actually good. Come to the back. Now I want to have yeah, a fun feeling in it, a bit off the line. So what I do is, I create some length in the center, and this I do by going in about uh, a two o'clock holding of my fingers from the sides over the center. And holding the skull bone as a guide, so my fingers leaning on the skull bone. So I make use of a wonderful skull bone. The skull bone is laying here. It's the rounding where your skull moves into your neckline. Show you this move also from the other side. center, hold my fingers on the skull bone, and bend all the lines to the center of the skull. is more length and a nice falling line and again also a triangle feeling on the back but in a very soft line so I can see it I can use it when I make her the colors to create something of this but it's, it looks so nice because now you can see this the line of cutting I made is this line it's on this side, it's about 10 o'clock, on this side it's 2 o'clock. So you can see the line laying in this line and that line. So I can make use of the other lines and make them a bit darker. Give them flamey color on the top. So it gives a wonderful, yeah, creative feeling on it. Take a, look, a bit of the length on top. Okay, 
is get that rounding again. So now I make this line softer. Let's add a line I made. Go in, scissor over comb. I think this is a very nice autumn pixie hairstyle. When I need some more freedom in the lines of cutting with my scissor, I take my pink off. And when I need a stable line to work on, I put on the scissor. Dat komt dat je, ja, je zit te knippen en ondertussen zit je uit te leggen. Dat is best wel lastig om te doen. Dus je, het vraagt echt heel, je moet ook heel veel luisteren wat je zegt. Dat is gewoon best wel moeilijk. En de Engels Ja, nou ja, de Engels zijn dan nog wel mee van me. Soms weet de woorden niet helemaal goed. Het scheelt dat je er beeld bij hebt. Ja, zeker. Yeah. You see also in the neckline, Flora has a beautiful shape because she has the opposite lines of the line of cutting. So when I created this line, the nape shape is this. So I can use also that. Turn a bit so I can go in from the other side. Set my scissor in, take it up, catch the hairs with my comb. Creating my first stable line, so I lay my pink on the pink uh, part of my scissor. And then I come to the creative part, because I need to get into the roundings. And to use them, I free the scissor of my pink. And then I can turn much easier with it. Go back to the lines you did because the hair is dry in the meantime, and then you can see clean this up with a clipper and then can start with coloring. Take my small clipper of Kiona, What I like about clippers of Kiona is that they don't hurry you up. It sounds so peaceful and so quiet. Like a glass, you can. Soft on the line. So now I can clean this up and then make our color.
Ze zijn gewoon hard hier. Dat is niet lekker. Ja, truien zijn toch echt gek. Hoe lekker is het dat het nou herfstig is? En dat je dat aan kan. Ja, absoluut. Nou, mag ik eens maken? Kijk, zie die, die lijn van je schedel loopt in het midden naar een puntje toe. Maar de, de ja. neklijn is precies in de tegenovergestelde lijn van de lijn. Mm -hmm. Stil, hè? Lekker. Lekker haar. <laughs> Lekker haar. Ik maak some colors. I made a red copper for on top. I will make uh, highlights colors into that color. It will be a strong color. Of course, I noticed what I cut. So I worked till I get on the skull bone and used the shape I created also in the hairstyle and in the coloring. Show you that one. I have this color on her hair. Into the underlines, I will create a deeper color. So the rest over of the color, I put in a black. So I get a deep brownish red. Couple red. Now first show you this line. What I set in with the red copper color. And then in the underlines of this, I create a deeper color, so I use the same color, but then I put in a black. But I first show you how this line looks. So I have the same line as I used on cutting. Now in this color, I use a zero. I don't have to put the peroxide in it anymore because it will certainly be that strong that it used the peroxide that is in the color. Mixed in the bowl. I don't have to put the peroxide in it anymore because it will certainly be that strong that it used the peroxide that is in the color. Mixed in the bowl. Set this in the underlines. You can already see that the color is different. But this gives it a very strong baseline. Now in, I have a lot of models that want to have shorter hair. Thank God for that, because I love short hair. But I'm working on uh, a different line on long hair, but that you will certainly see. But everything takes time. This is when the underline is in color. Did I see the difference in color? A little bit carton wig. Later on, on the front. And lay her hair on it. Now bring the hair back in the line of cutting. <laughs> and I also made a bleach. This I made with uh, turning volume because now it's getting to get through the hairs and I just give some playable effects in it. So it breaks the color a bit. Thing is just laying on top 
so we're certainly not in fact the under colors just the upper lines this is a cover up with the counter wig again so the colors will stay where they are and the bleach don't go into the hairs just lay on top when it dries, it can be free to rise into the plastic foil because there's a carton wig in it, so don't go into the hair colors. This is a close up, we go for tea and coffee, you just stay there because we are back in a second. Going to wait for about 25 minutes, then rinse it out, and then we're back for styling. Okay, we're back from coloring. I see how stunning red this is, copper red. I'm going to use a prep spray to uh, have the protection on the hairs. Product of uh, Kern. Use a medium brush. Afgelopen hebben ze maar de hebben ze daar voor. Maar dan houden jullie zo. Ja. Kijk zo. So far, blow drying. Before I end style it, I clean the contour line. This now is a, a shaper. Don't use too much. Just wiggle theirs. <laughs> I see how lovely the colors are. special effect into the lines of her face. And this is my new hairstyle, Pixie mm. Autumn Colors. <laughs> I thank you for watching, I thank her for being my model. She will turn so you can see the end result. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> Super cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Floor, you want an update of your hairstyle? Yeah. You want to have some autumn feelings, of course, in your hair. And this hairstyle is about uh, six, seven weeks old, something like that. Mm -hmm. But they can find you on YouTube so they can see <laughs> how it was. Will you turn so they can see how your hair is now? I think it's certainly seven weeks or something like that. And, and see that on the outgrowth. <laughs> 
Now it opens up, you can see it. Look at here. Thank you very much.